Hi yogis and welcome to your tutorial on how to do warrior 2 or virabhadrasana 2. Before we work into your warrior we're going to begin to open up the hips so pop down onto your mat take your knees out as wide as the mat and the base of the big toes together and just pop in the forearms and the elbows down onto the ground we're gently going to sway side to side so if you're coming into child's pose we're just starting to find some space there in the inside thigh, the hips, the lower back and then walking the hands in, we can roll up, draw the knees in. If it's comfortable, sit up onto your knees. If not, maybe sit down into a cross leg position. Interlock your fingers at your lower back and roll the shoulders and the arms away from you. Just starting to open up the chest and the shoulders a little. If it's comfy, you might want to look up towards the sky and just take a couple of deep breaths there, taking that energy up towards your shoulders and your chest. And releasing it down as you exhale hands down to the ground. Now shift your left leg forwards into a low lunge position, maybe using blocks or books to assist you. Make sure that your left knee and ankle making one straight line down to the ground. And we'll start here to open up the quad. As you exhale, take the hips back, draw the toes up, start to stretch the hamstring. Inhale to move it forward to lunge position. And then exhale, slowly taking it back, barely towards your thigh and toes move up towards the ceiling. Inhale it forward, stretch the hip flexor, exhale, taking it back, toes up towards the sky. One more time, inhale, taking it forwards, and exhale, taking it back, toes up. So gently moving yourself back into your lunge position. Now we'll start to work up into your warrior. So planting the hands down firmly onto the blocks, tuck your right toes and inhale to lift up your right knee. Start to feel that space you're creating in the right side. Plant your right foot down, checking that your left heel is in line with your right arch and turn your right toes to face slightly inwards. Press down into the feet as you lift the arms up or windmill the arms up. Open the arms out in line with the shoulders and reach from fingertip to fingertip, really drawing the shoulders down away from the ears. If you check down towards your left knee, you'll notice the knee is in line with the ankle and the knee is moving towards the second toe on your left foot. Now pressing the outside edge of the right foot down, can you notice your leg and your glute muscles start to activate, lifting up out of your lower back, breathing nice and deeply into your belly. So aiming for three to five nice deep belly breaths here, just gently gazing over the front fingertips. And now exhale, windmill the hands down, grab hold of the blocks for support as you square off your hips. Drop that right knee back down and start to bring the left leg back. We'll move straight into the other side, so bringing the right leg forward into your low lunge. Again, making sure the knee and the ankle make a straight line, the knee is back behind the toes. Take a deep breath here. And as you exhale, we'll move the hips back, draw the toes up towards the sky and encourage your belly down towards your leg. So inhale, shifting it forwards, exhale, taking it back, flat back, send the heart forwards, open up the hamstring. Again, inhale, nice and slow, using those blocks to support you. Exhale, taking it back, toes up. And one more. Inhale, moving forwards to open the hip flexor. And then exhale, taking it back, toes up to start to stretch the hamstring. Moving yourself back to low lunge and Jayanasana. Let's tuck the left toes, inhale to lift up the knee, pressing into the blocks again, let's rotate the feet. So plant your left foot down and then check your right heel and left arch are aligned. This is going to open up the hips. Pressing down firmly into your feet, lifting up the arms or we can windmill the arms up and over. Double check the heel to arch alignment. And with those left toes facing slightly inwards, you can press down into the outside edge of your left foot to activate your glute muscles, your butt muscles, to take care not to collapse into your lower back. Press your feet firmly into the ground so you feel that energy move up through the legs. Keep reaching from fingertip to fingertip as you focus over your front fingers. Again, three to five nice deep breaths, inhaling and exhaling into your belly through your nose. And then exhale to release the hands down to the ground. Grab hold of those blocks, drop your knee and slowly draw the knees back together. Let's have a little rock side to side, just notice the energy shift there in the hips. 
and take a moment, maybe just sit down to the heels or onto your bum and have a couple of breaths, noticing how your body feels. Thank you.